It's Julie Davison and Susan LaCroix. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. Today is Sunday, April 9th. Happy Easter. I'm so glad that you are taking some time to join us. And if you're not watching live, we understand. We hope that you're with your family um, and friends celebrating this holiday. So if you're watching on the replay, leave a comment and let us know um, how your Easter was. And unfortunately, we're not together this weekend to celebrate the holiday. Um, it just didn't work out this year. But Mom, how are you doing? Are you ready for Easter? Uh, I Yes, I think it's... Uh, I think we're pretty much all together. Um, I'm doing the ham and the cheesy potatoes. Um, mm -hmm. Nina's bringing a lamb cake, pretzel jello. I think that's it. And then uh, your sister Yvonne is doing the vegetables. So we've got corn and um, your dad wants green beans, almondine, which I have never oh. made. Your grandmother used to make them a lot. So I have to hopefully oh. find a recipe or uh, I'll wing it. <laughs> So Yvonne's not making those, you're going to make them? Well, I'll, I'll offer it to her. Here, you make it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we haven't. No, no, I'll, I, I'm just going to run up and take care of it. So it'll all be good. Other than that, uh, this is pre-order for the yes. new catalog. And uh, my pre-order is here in a big box Yay. over that way. <laughs> So the only thing I did was unpack catalogs and get them to the print shop to have them spiral bound for my hostess club. So you got all of your catalogs? I did. I did. And I I ordered my catalogs literally at the stroke of midnight mountain time. And I keep hearing about everybody getting their catalogs and my, all my boxes of catalogs haven't come yet. So. Well, I'm going to order more because um, Brenda my team member who is in the process of a move hasn't even put a pre-order in yet. And I should have thought of this before I went to the printer, but I texted her and said, Hey, do you need some catalogs? And she's, Oh, I've got to get stuff out to customers. I'm trying to get moved and blah, blah, blah. I said, well, how about if I let you have some of my catalogs? So I came home and then when the other ones were ready, I went back to the print shop with some more catalogs for her. And then, <laughs> so anyway, they're done. They're here. I'm going to drop them off to her tonight. So awesome. I keep telling people they got to wait for my taxes to get done and then I'll send them out because I need to, that's, that's got to be my priority this weekend and this week. I'm running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. I have work to do on my business stuff as well for the, for the business. So I, that's my, got to be my priority this week as well. I've got to get that done. Yep. He's been oh so patient. <laughs> <laughs> with, you know, can we work on your taxes? Can we work on your taxes? Like, well, let me just do this and I'll try. So I was like all set one morning and then it all went to hell of a handbasket. So oh. <laughs> but it'll get done. It will get done. So anyway. It will. Yes. Well, we're going to do some stamping today and put off taxes a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's switch it over to your desktop, mom, and you can right. share what our focus is today. I certainly will. So. Uh, our focus today is using some uh, of our retiring colors. So some of these may already be gone. I'm not sure. Um, the stamp set I'm using is gone, but that's okay. Uh, you can make do with, with any stamp set that you think might work. So let's go through these colors. Um, some I'm sad about. Uh, actually, I'm kind of sad about all of them. <laughs> all right. So from the neutrals family is Mary Merlot, which I love this color. I'm going to miss it. I really am, especially around Christmas. So yeah. Colors, which, um, you know, yeah, it's a great neutral. I am so sad about Sahara Sand. I use that one all the time, and I I don't know what I'm going to do without it. Uh, you'll find another color. <laughs> <laughs> I have to you. And then one of my other favorites is Soft Suede. Because it goes so well with like earth tones in the fall. So I'm really sad about that. And then we're going to jump over to Brights and we have Bermuda Bay. <laughs> I thought there was another piece under there. And Mango Melody, which I haven't used all that much, but they've had some beautiful designer series paper with Mango Melody. So I've been using it more lately. Yes. I and feel like that's, isn't that like a relatively new color during the last color so. refresh? I feel like I it was brand so. new. Yep. I believe so. 
but I know for sure this sold out. So this mm. one is definitely gone. And then we also have Pacific Point from the Brights. Another fun one. I, you know, I, yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's move on to Rich Regals, which has Rich Razzleberry. And I believe that this is the only Regal that's retiring. I think you're right. I think all the other ones are um, sticking around, although some are going to move around. So these are right. all, this is the color refresh. Stampin' Up! does this every, I don't know, like five years or so. And we yeah. uh, get rid of colors and we bring um past in colors back and new colors so we've got yep. to make room for all the new colors by yep. getting rid of some of these older ones and um you know what i was thinking most of these colors that are retiring have been past in colors like rich yes, raspberry that was yeah. an in color a long time ago pacific point yes. that was an in color soft suede bermuda bay um those were Mac all Ron, in colors. Mint Mac Brown was an old in, in color Right? Yes, it was. As was Pear Pizzazz. Yep. I think Pear Pizzazz and Blushing Bride were in colors together. Oh, I think you're right. So Saffron's been around a long time. Um, I think this was just added as a core color. I don't think that this one was an old in color. Yeah, I don't remember it being an in color. Mm. And there's Blushing Bride. Ugh. Oh, and my screen is doing wonky things. My apologies. So, but I will tell you, uh, we cannot wait to share with you the new colors because mm -hmm. they are gorgeous. They are. Absolutely They're so gorgeous. beautiful. Yeah, I may have to pack that box open sooner. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, my so all of the cardstock ink pads, re-inkers, markers, all the color things yeah. um, are retiring. And we are um kind of like it, it's different for every color some of them are completely sold out some of them you can still get an ink pad or you can still get the card stock so check the last chance list we'll link to it up in the um video description but the best place to see the current availability is just to go right to our online store yeah. um and shop the last chance category and then you can see what's left and um if you haven't already ordered your favorite retiring colors do it soon um, because the longer you wait, the um, the more that is going to sell out. Um, and I will say, because I have looked at the new in color or the new colors and the new color collection, I think where we're going to feel the biggest hole is those light greens, mint macaron and pear pizzazz. Mm -hmm. uh, because in the new subtles, we have soft sea foam and lost lagoon. Yeah. And so if you don't have mint macaron or pear pizzazz and you can still get it, then you, you should, you should put those up on your list because I think you're going to, those right. two colors in particular, of all the ones that are retiring, I think those are the ones that um, are leaving the biggest hole in our color collection. I think you're right, Julie. Okay. Well, no more crying. Let's 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 celebrate. <laughs> let's celebrate these colors with some projects. All um, right. And so I'm gonna flip the camera over to my desktop, and um, I am going to share some. Um, I'm gonna share a project with some of the brighter colors that are going away. Bermuda Bay, Rich Razzleberry, and Mango Melody. I kind of wanted to focus on the brighter ones because mom's going to do some of the softer colors on her card. Um, the other thing I want to point out is the last chance um, list. There are um, like 250 things that are marked down 60% off. And I made up this flyer and we'll put a link in it in the video um, description. Um, but there are 17 stamp sets that are under $10, which is kind of amazing That's for us. Crazy. I know, right? 17 that are under 10. And there's still others that are over 10, uh, but are also amazing deals. Quite a few of these have um, dyes that are on sale as well or in the clearance rack. So like almost all of them have coordinating dyes that are on sale. So today I wanted to focus on one of those 17 under 10. And so I'm using the Conversation Bubbles stamp set. This is retiring from the January through April, 2023 
mini catalog. It's on page 39 and the stamp set is 60% off. It is $9.60 for the stamp set. You of course probably want to get those coordinating dies which are 20% off. And so I wanted to share a project to highlight not only the colors that are leaving but also this um, this really fun stamp set in case you haven't had a chance to, to check it out and play with it. This is the only other card sample I have and I cased it from the mini catalog. So um, I don't know how well you can see. I did different die cuts of the white conversation bubbles kind of in uh, different directions. And then um, I added the, um, I added the die cut, thank you. So I used Sweet Sorbet and um, Petal Pink, I think for this one with some of the Country Floral Lane designer paper. Um, so we're going to make another card today using the um, conversation bubbles and our retiring colors, Bermuda Bay, Rich Razzleberry, and Mango Melody. Um, kind of a simple card today. We're going to do a little embossing too. Um, I've got my card pieces and um, they're pretty straightforward. We've got Rich Razzleberry for the card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. Um, scored in half at four and a quarter. An inside piece that's four inches by five and a quarter. Um, a white piece for the front that is two and three quarter by four and a quarter. Some designer paper. And for this one, I am using the retiring um, greatest journey. Enjoy the journey um, designer paper. This was one that we could get during celebration in the final month um, as an extra item. So you might have this one at home, but I loved this pattern with the mango melody. I just thought it was kind of fun. And then I have a scrap of Bermuda Bay that I'm going to stamp and die cut from and a little skinny strip of Bermuda Bay that's one half inch by four inches. So we're going to start with our stamping and we're going to do that on the two white pieces. Let me move everything else out for just a second. And for the front piece, we're going to kind of create a collage with some of the um, some of the the images, the little conversation bubble images. So I've got one for Bermuda Bay, I've got one for Rich Razzleberry, and one for Mango Melody, which is going to be that solid one. Um, I'm looking at my sample to make sure that I. <laughs> To make sure I do it right, I'm going to start over here and go in the upper right corner, go off the edge, kind of just doing a triangle down, down the page here. So that's my mango melody layer. And then I'm going to add um, overlapping uh, Bermuda Bay. And then I'm using those three hearts. I'm going to overlap again and then overlap down here. So this is for the front, just kind of a collage of those conversation bubbles. And then I want to just add a little trio of those things here um, in the corner for the inside of the card. Okay. Um, oh, I've got children playing on the porch. If we hear a doorbell or something crazy, it's just the name. It's just the kids. Um, our next stamping is going to be some embossing. Um, oh, it's right here in front of me. I'm like, where did my tray go? <laughs> I'm using the embossing additions toolkit. We've shown this a few times, but I just really love it. It's a carryover from the um the holiday mini, and it'll still be available in the new catalog. It includes the small tray, the embossing buddy, the tweezers, and the little brush. So definitely a must have, I think, for embossing. And we're going to be stamping on the Bermuda Bay cardstock. So I'm going to start with the embossing buddy. And this just kind of helps to get rid of all the oil, fingerprints, whatever on the cardstock, because I want my, um, my embossing powder to stick only to, um, only to the, um, the, the, stamped image and not to anything else. So I'm going to stamp this in Versamark, which is a watermark ink, and then use the white embossing powder. And um, I should have been doing this in the tray <laughs> oh, because then you can shake it off and you can use the tray to funnel it back into the jar. I will admit sometimes I'm lazy and I just try to funnel it <laughs> on its own. And then the brush, you can you can get some of those extra, like extra little pieces and just sort of brush away the um the powder. 
And so next we're going to heat it to activate the powder and create a raised image. So I'm gonna use the heat tool for that. And I'm just gonna put it back and forth until the powder is melted. And it's a little bit harder to see with the white, but you're looking for it to get kind of shiny and smooth. And that's how you can tell that it has melted. So you kind of see it getting darker on the right side. And I'm just gonna go over the whole image. This is where the tweezers would be good. Uh, if you feel like you're burning your fingers, then um, you can use the tweezers to hold your cardstock and save your fingers for burning, from burning, not for burning. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to burn. <laughs> Uh, let me move this stuff out of the way and we're going to get out the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm using the mini machine um, to die cut our conversation bubble. And heads up, if you're a demonstrator, the Boho Blue mini machine, um, the extra stock from the celebration promotion is available for demonstrators to order. So if you're interested in getting that and you missed the original pre-order period, then um, it's available now for demonstrators. And I guess if there's enough, maybe they'll make it available for customers. But at this point, it's just available for demonstrators right now. Uh, come on. <laughs> I'm going backwards. <laughs> I usually go the other way. Okay, there's our image. I love the way the white embossing looks on the dark cardstock of the Bermuda Bay. Let's bring in our other pieces and we'll assemble our card. I'm going to use some regular Stampin' Stampin Seal and we'll start with our inside piece. Rich Razzleberry is my card base. And then I'm going to use that Mango Melody designer paper and put that down in the front about a half or quarter inch from the bottom. I guess that's more like a quarter inch. Um, oh man, I have a little smudge. You probably can't even see it. A little smudge of ink. Oh, I know. I'm going to use, try my ink eraser here. This is a, like a sand eraser. Essentially, you're just like grinding down the fibers of the paper. Um, the little half inch piece I'm going to put on the left side of the card. And then I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. It looks like I've got edges here. I'm going to use some Dimensionals. On the side. That is such a cute card. Thank you. I love the way it turned out. And um, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the color combination. I feel like I might have chosen other colors, but Claire was like, oh, I love the colors. They're perfect. And I think she's she's really digging them because they're pretty similar to Knox College colors, where, <laughs> she, where she has been admitted and plans to go to school in the fall. Uh, their colors are like purple and gold. And so she's like, I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, but I do think it's a fun uh, color combination. And if, if you don't have these colors, you can certainly use any colors, I think, um, to to create this card. I think um, I like the bright colors just, you know, for the style of the stamp set. I'm going to add some iridescent rhinestone basic jewels because, I mean, yeah. Why not? <laughs> right. There are three sizes, so I'm putting the large and the small on top and the medium down there in the corner. Awesome. Such a right. nice card. Thank you. I hope these colors feel celebrated. I am going to miss um I am going to miss them, but there are some fun new ones to take their place. So maybe I'll have to make the same card with the new colors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm excited about the cards you have to share today. So I'm going to flip the camera over so you can right. share. Okay, so I um, 
I chose um, Blushing Bride, Mary Merlot, and So Saffron. And I've, those are the inks that I'm using on this. And then I may have shown this hard layout before. I'm not sure. Oh, and I didn't put measurements. Dog on it. All right. So I've done, I've done a lot of the work ahead of time. Um, so anyway, this is an eight and a half by 11, scored at four and a quarter. So nothing really new there. And then I took some of our, um, oh Lord, this uh, the designer series paper. Um, a wash with beauty. A wash with beauty. So I'm going to put a piece. I you know I just cut it cut it on the diagonal, but I also wanted um a strip to kind of peek out from underneath. This was kind of a a last minute thing, so I'm going to do a little bit of trimming, but I'm going to just lay this out here, and then I'm going to trim off these little ends. Oh, I like that. Not the most ideal way, but uh, it works. I'm not in camera. Am I? There we go. I just got carried away when I was making this. And so I did um, all my stamping and die cutting. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to do it this way. Just to pay attention to what you're doing. So, Julie, are you ready for Easter? It snuck up on me. I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready. Um, I'm not even sure what we're making. We need to um make out our grocery list and and get what we need. Jim's smoker is um is not working. <gasps> got, what? I know it got clocked up, and he's trying. He's been trying to fix it for a few weeks now. So. Mm -hmm. um we're just kind of like on standby i don't know like the plan was to smoke ham but um i i don't know <laughs> if that if that doesn't work we're gonna have to do a more traditional preparation um oh boy. of our meats but yeah we need to make out our list we need to get to the store um now of course i'm saying this because we're filming this early and yeah. when you're watching this we will have our food already <laughs> yeah. yes, we, will. And we will have a better plan for easter <laughs> dinner tonight um mm -hmm. <laughs> this is this isn't glued on is it this is glued on all right i'll look Hang in there. I really like the angle on this card. I think it's really pretty. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just doing our traditional Easter dinner ham and cheesy potatoes. And all right, so that piece is done. It kind of a little crazy, and I started um, <laughs> stamping and die cutting. So this is what we've got. So I'm going to layer this here. Oops, I should put my stem down. Like here. And put this piece. So I chose the um, the um, Blushing Bride for these little ones in Mary Merlot. So I just kind of want it kind of stamped like so. I think that's how I want it. And the colors are all from the designer paper. That's why you chose those colors, right? That's exactly right. Um, I chose this because of the colors that were in there. Because there's the So Saffron and the Blushing Bride and the Mary Merlot. And then I did our greeting, which is You Are a True Friend. And that'll go on here as well. And... Um, Actually, I think I might want to do something a little different. You may want to actually have that coming off the paper. I don't know. What do you think, Julie? Do you like it better coming off the designer series paper with the bow and a green? As opposed to tucked behind it? Yeah, yeah. I like it better on top, I think. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. All right, so 
So let me just take all these pieces off and get out some of my favorite glue. I put too much on there. It's going to squish. The soft seam binding just sold out. I just oh. was marking it. I know. Oh, no. One of my very favorite ribbons, um, just because it's so versatile and it goes with so, so much stuff. There is a new white ribbon in the new catalog, so I'm sure that will become a new favorite. You know, it probably will, um, but I am going to miss it because you can just take the blends and make it any color you want. Mm -hmm. But you can probably do that with some of the other new ones, too. Oops, blue down. And I'm gonna stick the flower on. Like so. And we will do, I pre-tied the bow and it's been sitting in my bin for a little bit, but it'll work, it'll be just fine. Get rid of some of these longer tails. Well, sure I am. All right, well, it's going to have to do. I may, it may fray on me. My ribbon scissors are somewhere on this messy, messy table. <laughs> this uh, stamp set, I believe, also has sold out. Yeah, the True Beauty stamp set. Um, yeah. The but designer then, paper is still available, though. Yep. Um, and it is so beautiful. This is the suite that we used when we stamped with Sarah and Shelly. Yes, it is. So we'll have to link that um, video in our in the video description if you haven't seen it yet. That one's such a fun video. Mm -hmm. um, and I just love the way that our cards turned out. Yep, I do, too. And... Um um you can use any stamp set that you want with this layout it doesn't have to be this one obviously and i think some of the the new designer series papers are stunning i think it's going to work out really well all right let's put our greeting on you are a true friend And then we'll put some bling because we have to. It's the law. <laughs> it's the law. <laughs> well, it is in my house. <laughs> right. I love it. It's the law. <laughs> <laughs> which bling are you using today, Mom? I'm using the Elegant Faceted Gems, which is retiring. I wanted to show some love. I love these gems. I have used them a lot. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I've used them a lot. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go down here with the little guy and then another big guy. Mm, there we go. Just to give that. So there is a, a fairly quick card, really. Beautiful. Um, and the inside. Oh, I've got to do the inside. So let's do this. Let's take our Mary Merlot. <laughs> I'm just creating this hot mess. And so you are a true friend. And the other stamps in this stamp set are here for you always with love. Aww. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stamp here for you always. Even though it's kind of little and with love. And then take some Blushing Bride and stamp a flower in the corner. It looks a little crooked. But that's all right. And so we're going to put this little guy right there. So that's going to be our inside. Get rid of these inks. And I'll use some of the seal to put our inside in. And 
And I don't know how our time is, Julie. But I was oh. going to share a real fast project, not related to any of them, really. <laughs> but you'll have to tell me. Um, so let me. We always have time for more projects. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here's another one I used with. Uh, oh, get rid of this ribbon. With a, a balmy blue. I love blue and yellow as a combination. So this was one. It was the twelve by twelve sheet, but if you cut it down, you can get like six card fronts from this. I love that pattern. Yep. And the um the blingy white ribbon. Um even though it's not in the new catalog, it's available on the online exclusive. So there are several products that moved over to online exclusives. So that's just using this paper. But then I wanted to do something real fast. I love daisies and I'm sad that this daisy punch is going away. So yeah, I that was such a Gerber good punch. It, yeah, yeah. So I went ahead and made some Gerber daisies, put some of our retiring opal rounds in there, um, and then stamped up or punched out a couple leaves. I hand cut the stems with that quick happy birthday. Where did you say you got the leaves from? The leaves? Oh, I knew you were going to ask me that. It's it's got, <laughs> it's got I think, like three flowers. And, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this leaf. So I just punched out like five leaves. So that was the other um, thing I wanted to share with you with the retiring colors. Oh, I love that. So here's my little bonus project. I made these for my hostess club and um, I'm making them for our fellow um, handbell choir members. So I took a piece and this is, I couldn't, I don't even know who to give credit to because this has been around for so long. But I took a piece of six by six designer series paper. I scored it at two inches and four inches, turned it, scored it at two inches and four inches. And then I'm gonna take my snips and I'm gonna go just up to that first score line. This would be great while well, it's already Easter, sorry. Next year. <laughs> I think you showed us the baskets that you made for Stamp Club in our last video. Oh yeah, you, I or, did. Maybe it was two weeks ago when it we had been, Amy. But I thought I would just share. How yeah, I did. this is fun. So if you're needing a last minute little table treat for Easter dinner tonight, yes, you could because everyone's got designer paper at home, or you could oh, use yeah. cardstock for this instead. You know, you could. Um, and I debated, but. I, I, I like the pa I like the pattern. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought this was a lot of fun. So then you're just gonna fold up the sides. I want it that way. Not that way? No, I want it this way. And I'm just gonna use some seal right now. I would normally use some tearing tape. So I'm going to put some seal right here. I suppose you could use seal plus too, huh? Yeah. I always forget about seal plus. <laughs> I do too. Oh. oh, come on. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right. Come on. Let's get some seal on here. But this just comes together so quick. But your sister doesn't know yet, but she's going to help me make these. <laughs> <laughs> she always loves helping. She does. She absolutely does. And so she's been looking at my new catalog. Oh, really? And she loves the in colors. Now we're we're talking about a different sister that you guys haven't oh, met. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's my daughter Yvonne. <laughs> so this is the basket. How simple and cute. I and, love it. And if you want, you could take like a, a one inch strip or a three quarter inch strip of white or another color and just make a little handle and then put a little Easter grass and fill it with some goodies. So here's so my cute. cute easy little basket 
because it's Easter. So I had to share. Yeah. It. Thank you for sharing that extra project. Sure. All right. Are you ready to switch the <laughs> cameras around? <laughs> yes. Let's flip. Oh, so many retiring colors that mm. we're going to miss. I yeah. think we shared a lot of my favorites today. The saffron, Mary Merlot, such a good one. And that was another one mm -hmm. that just was new, I feel like, in the last color refresh. So, um, yes, it was new then. Yeah. yeah. It, it's sad to see that one. Um, yeah. It's sad to see that one be done. So how, how do they figure out the colors that are retiring? A lot of it oh, um, has to do with sales. But then also as they're bringing new colors in and thinking about trying to balance it out, um, they're really trying to make sure that they've got colors that go well together. So as they're, you know, figuring out which colors to go, you know, part of it's sales, but also just making sure that they got a nice balance um, they of do, colors. They also do research. Yes, and they um, they have ex color experts. I don't know what what qualifies one to be a color expert. <laughs> they do utilize that, and I think they run focus groups too with demonstrators and customers. And you know, there's a lot that goes into the decisions. Yeah, and you know, and then what colors they need to bring in too, besides yeah. just the retiring ones. So. Anyway, I'm excited and I'm excited to start using them and we're excited to be able to share them with you in just a few weeks. Yes, we are, it's going to yeah, be so we're... good. It is, Dem it absolutely is. Demonstrators can pre-order new colors right now and everybody else will be able to order the new colors when the catalog launches on May 2nd, but everyone can get the retiring in colors while supplies last right now. So don't wait, make sure that you get your orders in right away for Absolutely. the retiring colors and all the last chance favorites as well. Um, the stamp sets and the dies and the ribbon and the embellishments. Um, they're, like I said, a couple yeah. hundred items that are on sale. Um, and we've already sold out of at least 50 or 60 things um, on the list, not 50 or 60 of the sale items, but just 50 or 60 in general of the hundreds and hundreds of items that are retiring. So yeah. there's still yeah. lots of deals left, but this I think is going to be our last video where we focus on last chance favorites. It is. Um, so make sure that you, um, make sure that you get your favorites. You still have got a few weeks left before that ends. Yes. So on that note, we wish you all a very happy and blessed Easter. We hope you're enjoying the day with loved ones and friends. And I know that we are going to eat very well this afternoon. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for spending some time with us today. Yeah. Thank you. And until next Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a good week. Bye, Mom. Love Bye, you. Jay.